nigga shit I do a lot of Nigga we be sipping out the bottle I be fresh as hell rockin' powder Well back out here at the combine and I'm just gonna tear this shit out of there and then Bell's gonna run the green cart yeah. and then I will be running the combine again and uh we need a truck out here, so I think Dad's gonna get work on getting one out here, and then should be good to go. Then we can empty into the cart, and then should be good. Good, but um, I don't know. I'm just gonna flip the power switch on and take that stuff out of the header, and then should be good to go. Right? Yep. Well, um, we got run the combine now, so. We're in here, Joey's in the cart over there, and uh, I think we're gonna get going here. Um, we need to uh, fill the rest of the cart, only like in our hopper full on there, I think. And then uh, the guys that are hauling for us, they're gonna bring in our truck out, we'll fill that right away. And then after that, we'll probably just fill the cart and it'll be dark, but it's kinda hard just doing one combine going about two miles an hour or so. But, there's a lot of laid down stuff. I don't know if you guys can see behind the tractor there. It's all laid down. So we're trying to just go around that and not mess with it, but we'll pick it up eventually. Like we just left the headlands. We cut in quite a ways, but yeah, so we'll pick up that after. Well, truck showed up. So we're combining. We're just gonna fill the cart the rest of the way now. And then he's good to go to the canola plant, so get that floated up well we got the cart full pretty full pretty plump so we're gonna go dump that and then um yeah we'll dump that he's gonna bring another truck out um so yeah well this got emptied the cart just gonna get up in the calm right now so well um back in the calm we just got the cart emptied out and he was gonna take that truck to the plant bring his other one back so we should have another car full by the time he gets back but I don't know it's kind of difficult running with one combine on your own maybe don't fill up as fast but that's all right so we're just gonna keep trucking along and oh we got the rotor on the backfield now we finished a big piece so we're on the back and this stuff's a little thinner so it's going pretty good it's feeding a lot better none of it's laying down and so yeah but and here's the camera, I guess. Uh, tank, a little greasy. No, it's a little dirty, but that's all right. And oh, here we can go about three. I don't know. A lot faster than over there, so I'm happy about that. But um, I don't know how late we're gonna go. Till dark, obviously. I guess till it gets tough. Um, just gonna keep trucking along here. Joey, she went up to fill the rest of the truck, and then yeah, so she's doing that. I'm still over here, and we're on the back piece, and yeah. Okay, so it's running a little less than it was over here than it was over there like i said it's a lot thinner so moisture is pretty good seven boat so 15 acres an hour yeah it's because we're going so slow but not doing too much overload on the engine just up into a yellow mark and then yeah we definitely gonna need some fuel tomorrow probably or the next day i don't know but yeah, other than that. So I'm gonna okay, kind of give you guys a little rundown of the fields that we have up here. So we have obviously that one, that's canola. That's, I don't know how many acres that is, but we have that one, that one right there, that wheat field, and then this one, and then that one, and then there's another one on that side of the woods over there, and then another one on the other side of that. So we have quite a bit, but um, it's about, I think it's about like 600 some acres, so quite a bit another big ball up yep just the usual when you get to this lodge shit on the end that's what it likes to do so well i'll probably give you guys just a little time lapse of me going back and forth i don't know but it'll be not very lit but <laughs>
alone on the go here joey's in the cart it's going pretty good so we'll finish this field actually i think today so that'll be good but we'll have to clean up them headlands after which that's going to take forever so but um we just got done the back piece of this field we just got done with that so I'll show you guys finished her up so yeah i don't know we'll maybe call our night or we'll uh, head up to the or clean up some more of the field i don't know we might do that tomorrow though but i'm not too sure well i'm gonna go help joey uh or not help her i'm gonna go dump the rest of the combine in the cart or in the fucking the truck and then she's gonna fill the front with uh, 25,000 pounds or 26, and then she'll fill the back with the rest, and then I'll top it off. So I should be hauling about 54,000 pounds in all, and he's parked up there. But so this is what we have to deal with right there. It's pretty shitty, but I don't know. We'll try work through it, but I don't know. Maybe if we just cut it high first and then come back and clean it the shit up, but knock so much of it off like there's a really bad spot right there it's all flat right on the ground so we just pretty much had to leave the headlands then there's a little pass right there that's all and then back there headlands too and then on the other end over there so we got to pick up all that yet so i don't know we'll probably do that tomorrow or i'll start tonight but i don't really know what to start on i, I don't know it's kind of hard to see at night they don't have leds in this combine so it's kind of a shitty thing but I don't know, I can't see very good, but probably should wear the glasses that I'm supposed to, but I don't, so it's whatever though. So she's gonna fill that, I'll top it off, and then, I don't know, we'll probably be done for the night. Well, there's a truck he's using. Well, he's got a couple of them, I guess. That's one of his blue ones right there, and he's got the big sunflower trailer. So, or the temp, temp pool or whatever they're called. But um, yeah, I just loaded a little bit in here just to even it out, and then, Cause that cart, it doesn't hold enough just to get the right weight. So we don't want to be under or over. So I just added like 2000 pounds about, I think. And so yeah, now we're gonna just gonna head back to the um, yard or to the yard on the, uh, on this field. And then yeah, probably be quitting for the day. So. In here now. Yep, good night. See ya. Bye, Bell. See you in my dust, I guess. I don't know. But... Yeah, we're going back to the yard now, so just catch you guys then.
Well, we're back out here today. This is the day two of the video, I guess. Um, so we're back out here. We're just gonna pick up all this shit that's laying down. Some over there too as well. Other side of them trees. And then down on this end, down there. I don't know if Joey's gonna start up the combine or not. I told her to, but um, I think she's just gonna ride with me for now. We'll just leave the cart there. And yeah, I don't know. Should there is a couple broken sections yet? We'll probably fix them, and then um, and then we'll combine, I guess. But um, what's that? I did. Yeah, she's gonna fire that up. So should work. I don't know. Turn the switch on. So but I'll also leave the cart sit here for now, and then. This guy's up here today, either getting their deer stands ready and stuff. So he's up here. And then, yeah, we're just gonna combine that lodge shit. It's gonna, it's gonna take us a while, so we'll be out here for a while. So, yeah. Hey guys, I'm just running car today and I'm waiting for Kiefer to load me up so I can go fill the truck. And I'll show you how I do that when I get over there. Bye. I'll just show you guys that right now when I wait for Kiefer just how I do it because it gets a little chaotic when I get over there so so the first thing you do is you turn the PTO on right here and then you idle it up to about like halfway right here and then you have to open up the gate and that's right here these are just closed so I don't hit them um, but yeah you have to open the gate so you push that forward and then once you're done loading um, you close the gate first and then you idle it down and then shut the PTO off. So yeah, that's basically how you do it. I guess the hardest part for me is lining it up next to the truck if they're bigger trucks and if they're not parked straight. So yeah, um, that's about it. It's not very hard running grain car. It's kind of fun, but it's kind of boring sometimes too. But yeah. And I'll show you some other things inside the tractor. So this is my scale. And it's just so I can see how much I have on the cart to load the truck. And there's my auto steer. And then that's the camera from the grain cart. And that's our radio. So yeah, that's kind of how it runs or whatever. Um, but yeah, I don't really have much else to talk about. Um, I'm just waiting for Kiefer again, like I said, and I'm waiting to fill the truck up so it can go up to the elevator, and then a new truck will be waiting so I can fill that one too, but it'll take a while because um, it's running slow, or Kiefer's, it's just like really thick, so it's hard, but yeah, bye guys. Well, guess is as good as mine. <clears throat> yeah, it's not going that good. We got about, I'd say probably only like, um, let's say, shit, seven, eight acres maybe in about two hours. Yup. Yup. That's how that's going. So, I don't know. We're going to try. So, I don't know. We're still going, but... <clears throat> It's taking forever, but I don't know. We should be done here in about another hour or two. I don't know. It's just chewing along, barely. Plugs the header every like two seconds, so. That's what the header looks like plugged. Pretty shitty, but then we just hit the reverse button over here. Reverse it. And it kicks it right out of there. And then once you get that, <coughs> rev her up. Just so she don't plug again. And then kick it all back right in. Then you're pretty much good to go again. So right now, I'm only, um, I'm only pretty much clipping the top off, and then I'm gonna come back like a second pass, and then clean it up good. <clears throat> I'm thinking that'll work, so that's what I'm doing. But hopefully it works. But yeah, it doesn't flow worth a shit. Got it. I literally can't even video anything because it pretty much just plugs every two seconds. So. Hey guys, so I just dumped the load or whatever and it's about 8 o'clock right now and Keith is just finishing up and then we'll be heading home. 
Well, um, we just, uh, parked the combine right now because it's getting too tough. We're running about 10 moisture. It was at 7, so we quit. It's getting tough, and it was plugging on me every so often. So we just quit. We just got her fueled up. So I don't, you guys can't see. It's too dark out, but I probably shouldn't be getting away from the car, I guess. That's where all the light is. But anyways, yeah, we're just going to shut her down for tonight. Joey's filling the rest of the truck. We got this field up. We'll wait to put Def into our get home. We'll finish up tomorrow, this canola, and then we'll be good to go. Well, you guys, that'll probably be it for today. So see you guys in the next one.